Uh, Amanda Seals posted an emotional video after coming across a blog with the headline, Amanda Seals is not a victim of anything but her own hubris. hubris. Take a look at her response. What the f is wrong with y'all? Three pieces from three publications that are supposed to be about uplifting black people, which is all I have dedicated my life to doing. What hubris do I have? You people literally cannot stand that someone has studied and is speaking on what they study, that someone has read and is speaking on what they read. You can't stand that someone loves us, that someone loves us so much that their passion is so exemplary and is exuding through the phone that it touches people who literally have never felt love that much and they don't know how to process it. That's what you're feeling. All right, what are your thoughts on Amanda's remarks and can you relate to her frustration? Al, what do you think? Oh, you know, we can definitely relate to her frustrations. I think, I just feel like, first of all, th my definition of hubris and her being offended by it is, is different. Hubris means, you know, having excessive self-confidence. And I think she is, she, she does exude um, excessive confidence. And th this is the deal. You can't be an activist and expect people to like you. You can't speak in the spaces for the people who don't have voices and expect that people are going to always champion you. And unfortunately, she's trying to marry her being an activist with her being in entertainment and in Hollywood. And the two just aren't able to mix because if you want to exist in Hollywood, you can't always be as frank and as real as Amanda Seals is. Now, I've never worked with her, but I'm only telling you from an outsider looking in. Now, there are undercurrents about her attitude. Attitude. Now, you know, Claudia, in Hollywood, an attitude would just ruin your entire career. It would derail you. So I can't speak to that. But what I can speak to is that when she does talk about the African-American issues and the issues that we go through in life, she has my attention. Now, what she's like to work with, what she's like to deal with, that I can't speak to. But this I will say. Uh, she has a reason to be upset because if she wants to be liked and she wants to be accepted, and especially from black publications in which she speaks the most into, I can see why she's offended. All right, Armand, what do you think? I, I kind of agree with Al uh, a little bit. It's like, first of all, you can't be that loud and boisterous and think that people are not going to have an opposing opinion as you. you. It just doesn't work. Like, people are going to talk about you all the time. So to think that everybody's going to agree with you, it's just, it's it's not going to work. That's never going to happen. But right. two, in this article, they had kind of got her together, though, and they 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 outlined bullet points. They were just calling out some of her contradictory or, or problematic statements and their opinion, you know, in regards to things that she said. You know, they talked about how the fact that she was saying, if you don't have, if you buy a pair, if you buy Jordans but don't have a passport, then you you're lost. Or if you buy Jordans, but then don't have a credit card, then you're lost. And she basically, and they were basically saying like, girl, everybody doesn't really want a passport or everybody doesn't, mm. you know, desire credit or maybe credit is not really one of those things that are designed for black people to get ahead. Like there's just other things there. And she, and people, they were feeling like, basically like she's projected her own privilege onto other black people. So don't get upset when people call you out on that and then start trying to play the victim. So my thing is, I understand why she's upset, but she's really in no place to get upset. It's other people's opinions. You have all these opinions, so other people are allowed to have an opinion about you, period. Claudia, let me ask you something, and, and you can speak to this. I feel like if you are a smart, articulate, black woman in Hollywood, or say mixed race or biracial woman in Hollywood, they don't know what to do with you, right? And people don't know what to do with you because, you know, they want to support you, but they don't really want to support you. They want you to feel smart, but they don't want you to feel too smart. Like, do you experience that at all? I feel like you do. I feel like that's probably one of the struggles that you have because you're so smart. You're so clever. You see it before it's coming, but you, you are good though at monitoring how you talk about it or monitor how you push back on it. A am I wrong in reading you that way? No, you're not wrong. I totally understand her frustration. And I also think she's also a light-skinned black woman. And some people don't think a light-skinned black woman, they think they automatically assume that you're biracial or whatever, and that you don't have the uh, 
the life experience to speak on the things that right. she's on. And I think that kind of gets in the way. And I don't believe she's by I'm not sure if she is or not, but who cares? She is an advocate of the black community. You cannot say she's not. And I get right. you may not like the delivery. I get you might not like the packaging, but that is something that as a black woman in entertainment, they don't like you when you speak a lot. Uh-oh. The more I talk, the more I was hated. When I was quiet and in music videos, every, I had like a 90% uh, approval rating. As soon as you start talking, it goes lower and lower and lower because you have more opportunities for people to disagree with you and not like what you say. Then they go point to, well, you did this and you did that. Right. Even with the example you gave, Armand, I hear what you're saying about it's not for everyone. But if you look at the intent of what Amanda Seals was trying to say about wanting Black people to have better credit right. and prioritizing, I don't think that's a negative. I don't. Right. I think that means like you actually want your people to be in the game. And a lot of us are not in the game. And a lot of us also, especially the younger folks, do not like being told. No, you know what? Let me take that back. It's not even the younger folks. A lot of people do not like being told about themselves. They don't. They already think they know it all. Even as they're failing in life, they think they know it all. Amanda, people can say you're brash, you're harsh, you come across a certain way, and they have their right to their opinion of that. And I, I feel you. I get it the same way. And there's a lot of other women that get, that get that as well. But can I you just say this real quick? Let me just finish, let me finish my okay. thought. You cannot change that. But your I heart agree. is in the right place. Your heart is in the right place. I don't know if you can temper your delivery. And I don't even think you should. But I get your frustration because it's like a thankless job to, to, to get attacked by the same demographic that you fight so hard for. And I... I I, I don't know how you do it. Actually. I just want to land here and then we can move on. But I, I mean, from reading the article, it looked like to me, not only was the person who the journalist who wrote the article a woman, but she was also light skinned. So I don't think that that has anything to do with it. I just think that she doesn't agree with Amanda still stands. Well, there's a lot of pick me attitudes out there. You know, oh, you know I mean, oh. there, there is there is. You know what I'm saying? Like she's saying what she thinks people might want to hear about this lady. And then that's mm. a great way to get people on your side. That's like when women constantly take exactly. a, a perspective. Well, I hate to that. Make... I hate yeah, that. And we it's know... funny, though, Armand, that you picked up on that. That's so funny that you picked up on it. But, you know, that's also a skew in which what that platform is trying, you know, to speak Who's their audience. To right. Who's their, their audience. audience. So you yeah. gotta you gotta really think about that too. The but why can't saved. it go the other way? Why does it have to be? Why does it have to be? She's a woman, so people are coming down her. Maybe I just don't agree with how she, her delivery. Maybe I don't. Maybe she kind of yeah. contradicts herself a lot, or maybe she thinks that she's better or elitist in trying to teach us. Maybe I want to buy Jordans. And I don't want a passport. Maybe I don't have the money to go and travel. Maybe traveling, you know, to other countries is not a desire. My I like my Nike sweatsuits. I like my Nikes. I don't have to want to have a passport, and that doesn't make me a loser. Claudia, go to the next day. We ain't got enough time. You if don't. you prioritize Jordans <laughs> overseeing the country, you kind of are. But right. that, no, no that's, but that's not fair. I'm, I'm with Amanda Seals. I I'm told fine. you we do not have enough time. Go to the next day. Hold on, Mon. You got to present that passport. I know. I got a passport and okay, I got good. my Jordans. Okay, be with us. <laughs> but I'm just saying, that's what they were calling her out on. And oh. Amanda, every time she gets called out, she plays the victim like people are attacking her. And it's just like, girl, you can't be this loud and boisterous and feel some type of way when people don't agree with you. It's just that simple. 